probably say if I was really like angry, I would be angry because now, mind you, I made these choices. So mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm just saying, for example, okay, um, me you... having a baby out of wedlock and the father not contributing as much as he could or doing as much as he could. And so that just naturally kind of pisses me off because mm -hmm. it's like well damn i have to do this mm -hmm. i have to do that i have to make sure the baby's taken care of i have mm -hmm. to make sure all the bills are paid and whatever whatever but like i said it's a lack of accountability with a lot of us mm -hmm. oh, i'm saying it, okay at the i mean yeah he he should right he she basically you make a decision right you want to have a baby right. out of wedlock yeah right now if, if you now if you guys had a meeting of the minds not married, had a meeting of the minds. And I would tell this to, to, to a duke. I, I get on dudes about uh, uh, having, you know, uh, spreading their seed willy-nilly and then complaining about it because I get on them too. Um, but uh, it's, say, 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 uh, now if you, if, if you had, say, if you had, with you and your baby's father had a meeting of the minds, I, we want to have this baby, okay? We sat down, we planted, we're going to have this baby, even though we're not married, Okay. And and basically, you make a decision. He makes a decision equally, right? Then I could say, okay, dude, um, you wanted to have a baby. She had the baby for you, and uh, now you don't want to pull up. No, man, you 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 willfully went into this interaction knowing the baby's going to come out, and you wanted to have this baby. Actually, led her to believe, or had to negotiate with her, meet in the mind, say we want to have this baby. Now you want to pull out. You know, you're basically you're a piece of shit. Because you didn't pull, you didn't uh, come up with your part, which with, with your part of the agreement. Now, if you would have do, then things happen, and 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 basically, uh, uh, you find out, say, you miss a period, right? That's right. what four four weeks, right? So basically, five four to five weeks, you know that you're getting ready to have a baby, right? right. That's most part, all right. Mm -hmm. You got thirty four more weeks. Basically, you you have to willfully carry that baby for 34 more weeks because you made a willful decision to have this baby. I mean, willful decision to have a baby on your own, right? Now, right. now, regardless of what he says, whether he he says I don't want it or whatever it is, basically, you tell him, you know, go fuck yourself, right? I'm you made that decision, huh? right? Huh? I'm saying a woman will still say, "I'm still, I'm have this baby." I'm still having this baby, and then wife, once you had the baby, you want to call him a bastard because he's not pulling his weight. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. A like, lot of not, women want to kind of have their cake and eat it too, mm -hmm. um, because there's been a lot of situations where a man has been like they didn't want the child, and the woman will still say, "Okay, well, I don't believe in abortion." Mm -hmm. You know, we we knew what we were doing when we laid mm -hmm. down to get this we, baby. Yeah, we. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then when the baby comes, there there tends to be a lot of resentment toward the man because it's like, okay, we we both knew what the consequences was when we laid down and had sex. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, okay, <laughs> now you know, now you know, this is just a logic experiment. This is the way my mind <laughs> thinks, right? Okay, right. Uh, okay. This is this is not in real life. Okay, if if you lay down and have sex one night and two days later the baby comes out, I could say that is true, right? We knew what the consequences of. We laid down, the baby came out, and now shit changes. Okay, two days later. All right, uh -huh. I could accept that. You had to carry that. You had to carry that little sucker forty fucking weeks. Oh lord. You have to carry. You have to carry that baby forty fucking weeks. Why do you carry a? You have to feel something for that man. You have to be committed to that man in some kind of way to carry his doggone seat for forty weeks. I don't care who you are. I told my daughter that shit. Well, I don't like, you know, because she's in school and basically the uh, her baby father actually wanted to, you know, marry her. Three, you know, he actually threw out the ring three times, but he's not up to the standard that she thinks that she should have. Right. Mm -hmm. And she gave me that bullshit. I said, when I'm, when I'm 40 goddamn weeks, we carrying this baby. Did you think that? Dang. I told her that. Now, 40 weeks, because you, it's not that the baby was here two days later and it's just an accident. Okay. There is no accident with carrying the goddamn baby for 40 weeks. There ain't no accident. That's a decision. Very much so. So, so I, so women talking about, well, we did it. No, 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 goddamn it. He didn't carry the baby. He didn't carry it 20 weeks and you carry it 20. Uh, uh, uh. Did he? No, 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 no. Even at the point, to, um, the women uh, talking about, well, we uh, did. No, no. Uh, okay. You got to mute yourself, cats. Oh. I mean, fitness. You got to mute your feet. Okay. Got to mute. Your, turn down your uh, YouTube feed. 
Go ahead, Cass, finish, and then uh, Danielle. Uh, I think he should be able to um, sign away his parental rights if the, if that's the case. If he doesn't want to marry, and he made it clear, like, as soon as he found out she was pregnant, then I think he should be able to do that. But... Yeah. Oh, you know, women ain't gonna go for that. But you know, know. We, we be, men know. been crying for that for years. That ain't gonna happen. That's and, and this, the state's not gonna for child state, support. The state's not gonna do it because the state needs <laughs> needs the women to have babies, so they're not gonna sign off for it. Basically, men are at, they're actually asked out. Go ahead, Danielle, jump in. I know you had. Well, uh, what about when men willfully ejaculate inside of a woman and expect anything not to happen because it's like. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Will I, 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 ejaculating I, 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 of I, 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 I jump on men about that because basically yeah, you, that's you, fair. You, you you willy nilly with your seed, right? So so right. And you and you you know the consequences that the state's gonna bring on you if if you willy nilly spread your seed. It is what it is. So basically, uh, if I know it feels better when it's raw, but the thing is, uh, you uh, you, you put the, you you took that revolver, you spun you, you spun the uh, uh you, you spun the chambers, right? right? And and when you click the, we click the trigger, yep. there was a bullet in that chamber. You got hit. Okay, you can't cry. You can't cry. I don't allow crying mm. about that. But I'm not. But I'm not gonna hear that crap about we from women. <laughs> I ain't gonna hear that crap from women. Because because by the same token, you knew you knew that if you get pre- yeah. that if he he shoots up your club. He's not the one that had to pull the bullets out of, out of the wall, is it? He ain't the one that had to take the, take the patient to the hospital. It's going to be you. You have to do all the cleanup work because you had you have to carry that baby for 40 weeks. Okay? That's your baby. No, yeah, no, 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 no. If if a, if it was a man, if a man had to carry the baby for forty weeks, motherfucker, no, I'm not gonna cuss on this channel, okay? <laughs> I, I'm gonna hold back. I, uh, I'm getting ready to get real. I was I, I was telling no, dude, get real. We need I was, this. I, I would tell a motherfucker. I tell motherfucker, you carry that goddamn baby for fucking forty weeks. At what point did you decide that you didn't want this baby? Or, or that that, that, right. that uh, this was not the right decision for you. At what point did you decide that I'm oh. gonna have this baby by 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 uh, uh, come hell or high water? Oh. Oh. When, yeah, at what point? Me. At what point? Oh, at what point did you decide that that you weren't that that he was more responsible than you because he is not making that decision to carry that baby in inside his body for forty weeks? Okay, you don't have to uh, worry about the sweet, the feet swelling, the cravings, the the the, the pains, and all the stuff that come up suffering that comes on, along with pregnancy, right? That is a hell of an experience for no, a woman to go through. Now, I was oh in vomit. You going through all that, right? And you're right. telling me that he's making a, a a bigger decision than you? Are you kidding? It's equal. No, it's not equal. Equal. Ain't equal. No, it's not equal. Oh. Well, usually. Act. When we lay down together and we decide to have sex without protection, you're agreeing. You're entering into an agreement. Is it? You're going to do whatever the wow. oh, 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 so, so. I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. Me too. I'm muting myself. So in other, so, so in, so in other words, <laughs> in other words, what we need, what we need to tell men, black men are all men, right? Regardless, regardless of how it feels, what you do, whatever it is, you shoot up the club, you're entering into a contract to actually Five birth and father that baby, right? No matter, yeah, well, no excuses, no excuses, well, no, no excuses. Well, no, well, well what well, can I say? This go ahead. I'm gonna say this if you willfully you, you, you having sex raw, you fucking raw, and, and you understand what the consequences are, if, if a woman is allowing you to fuck her raw, she wants a baby. Yeah, she wants one. Well, so if, if exactly, if, 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 it, it kind of falls on the the burden. Kind of falls on the person who doesn't want the baby. Because if a woman doesn't want a baby, sex. okay. Well, well I, no, I, no. Okay, well, if you, you if you like raw sex and you know what the consequences mm-hmm. are behind raw sex, if you mm-hmm. know that pre cum can get you pregnant, you know pre ejaculate can get you mm-hmm. pregnant, mm-hmm. then you gonna get somewhere and sit your ass down if you don't want no baby. But okay. now, if if it comes down to a person, it's really on who don't want the baby the most. Oh really? To, uh, really protect themselves. Oh really? In my opinion. Oh oh, what? Well, you know what? I'm gonna take that clip out, and I'm gonna play it. 
And I'm gonna say, and I want, I want all men, all black men, especially, all, but all men, period, to know exactly what the deal is, because that's what we want to hear. That's exactly what we want to hear. Because regardless of what you think, regardless of what you think is fair, because because uh, I have been lied to about pills, I've been lied to about them being on birth control. We had a whole lot of there's been a whole lot of lying that's been going around. We need to know exactly how women feel. In other words, if you do it, if you if you if you lay if you lay down raw with a woman, this is exactly what is going through her mind, regardless of whatever you think. So all that other shit. Mm -hmm. Bump that out of your mind because this is it. This is the raw, honest truth from a woman. And basically, oh, can you, can, if, can uh, I sign off on a uh, waiver, please? I need I, to to not be included in that. Can I sign off on the waiver on why, that? Why do you want to sign off? Why you want to sign can off on a waiver? Because okay, so because if if I'm laying there because I'm ready for that satisfaction as well, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm mm -hmm. part of the this is fifty fifty. And you're not going. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm not pro choice. That and and y'all have so many better options than we did. Y'all got Plan B and stuff. I I wish there was a pill. Good lord, I'd still be enjoying myself. You know that there's no way that you can just honestly put that on a man. You can't put that whole, if he come up in this raw dogging, then that, that's what he should expect, that a baby is going to come from it, and he's responsible. That's not fair. That's not fair. I'm not necessarily oh, saying man. that he... No, 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 no. Danielle, Danielle, Danielle let her finish. Fair. Let her finish. That, that's not fair. That's not fair. To expect that individual to... to, to cause, because we're so emotional. We're so tied to sex or connected to mm -hmm. sex that we, we're mm -hmm. looking for the same satisfaction as well. We're looking for it. We and and, and the we, we can even piggyback on the conversation we had earlier. We can't even say that we want it like that. We can't even express ourselves enough. I want you in this. I want to do this. And but then to turn around and to have to expect that individual to be responsible fully 100 percent 100% responsible for a, a child that they, that was not the plan. That was not the from the giddy up. You not you you're not telling me from the giddy up that you know what deep down I really want a baby. You're not telling him that. No, that's not fair. I can tell you this, Regina, for 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 Danielle. Okay, for any woman listening, right? That's not fair. You, if you want to, you want to see a dude uh, go soft real quick. Before he goes in, you tell him if you shoot up yes, my club, we'll, we'll, I'm gonna have a baby. Watch, watch what happens. I'm gonna have a baby. Well, and then, and then say that that was actually me who said that, but I was speaking for then, myself, not for all women. And I do like I only have unprotected sex in relationships. So we the conversation is had before you know the before we get into that. Okay, that's different. There you go. That that's what I'm talking about. At least he knows if he go up in here raw, there's a possibility a baby may come from that. Mm -hmm. But the, don't go into this doing the don't don't. Uh, that's not fair. Yeah, that's a, you, you're pro choice because um, I, I, I I'm t okay. Sorry, good. go ahead. <laughs> my bad. I'm my bad. I'm listening. No, no one, 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 one saying, one saying, one I don't saying, want to be on the list. I just want—I had to say I don't want to be on the list. Okay. Okay. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, regardless, the thing is, is it, there's way too, there's you know, there's way too much. Okay, there's way too much bullshit that goes on. Way too much side talk and and and, and, and conniving, right? Because you know what's going to happen exactly. if, if if guys get this message that every chick that you lay down with is going to have a baby on. You know what's going to happen. It's not a factor that every chick is going to have a baby on them. But the what, risk, if you what did, risk, what, if what you, did you lay just down, say? what did you just say? Uh, what, what I'm saying is, if you lay down with a woman mm -hmm. and you eat, you willfully ejaculate inside of her, mm -hmm. and then you're expecting nothing to come from that, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be a wise decision for I a am. person who does not want a baby. If you don't want a baby, yeah. you would have. You, I feel like a person should take better precaution if they don't want a baby <laughs> because it, it's like leaving. Um, you leaving somebody else in charge of your nut. And I'm just trying to... You, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say this. You know what? This is only a black, a black female argument, right? Because this don't, this doesn't go on in any other uh, uh, community. Well, you know why? It's because black males actually use uh, condoms more than any other group of uh, of men because of the child support laws. More. Who use birth yep. control least? 
<laughs> black, women. <laughs> black women. Okay. So how how come how come there's more out of wedlock birth more percentage out of wedlock births in the black community? And black men actually take more precautions. Why is that? Can't, can't even formulate an argument for that. Yes, the old sneaky okey doke. Because because I mean, yeah. we, you, good good thing this is not a man's Ooh. panel. Okay, good thing it's not a man's panel. Cause I be I be Ooh. hot right now. I be just talk back to me. Don't be, be hot. I be hot. I be hot. I would be hot. I be don't, don't give me that bullshit. Give me give me the honest God truth. Tell me why. Mm-hmm. You want Tell me to say why? why? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, th- I say why because white women are taught to value their body. They don't want to, mm-hmm. any old man just shooting up their club. They want to make sure. Mm-hmm. See, they were a white woman is taught to have anal sex before losing her virginity, mm-hmm. or second before losing what her virginity, because her womb mm-hmm. is valuable. Mm-hmm. And so no white man is just going to have a baby off just that, the run-of-the-mill white woman. Mm-hmm. She's going to make sure she got birth control, she got yes. C, she got everything she can to make sure that she doesn't lose her value. Because when you have a child, you lose value in the sexual market value. And white women are here to compete. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's raw. Yeah, right. that's, a that's a different perspective. Yeah, that's yeah. I think white girls um, and white women use birth control far more than black women do. Mm-hmm. But um, I know that there was an earlier point, and this was just a side note that I meant mm-hmm. to mention earlier um, mm-hmm. about there was a discussion surrounding. Um, you know, uh, black women's sexual activities and, and sexual activities of other races. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact that white women are expected to go through a whole phase, but white people look at sex differently than black people do. Mm-hmm. A lot of black people were deep off into religion, so they have this, um, you know, their their fake fake outrage. When oh it yes, it's f- it, it, and trust and, and trust to believe it is fake because black white black women go through a whole phase just like white women absolutely. do. Absolutely, but they talk about it like. And white men don't feel any type of way. Like they'll marry white mm-hmm. women that have slept with multiple of their friends when they went mm-hmm. to high school. They don't oh, look oh. at it the same way. We oh, and, and black men don't. Yeah, they do. But you know, they'll black men try to act like they have so much pride and that they, yeah. you know, yeah, they, we, they we, deal we, with we, it differently. Oh, they, well, don't no, white men say the same thing about dating the sluts and, and not marrying sluts? And guess what? They still do. They still marry them, just like we. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And in in uh and that recently black men have done that, but poor black men didn't really go through all that crap unless yeah. their mama said something. Yeah. Because it's usually his mama. Don't marry don't 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 uh don't uh don't get involved with a woman that had a ready made family. Or basically mm-hmm. she don't 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 date that fast ass girl. Because mm-hmm. she's been with such and such stuff. Is your mama yep. telling you that stuff? It ain't yep. you, it wasn't your dad. Dad didn't care. That's true. That's true. I, I'm sorry, I'm done. No, so I, what, what I want to know, what I really want to know, you know, I want to get past this. I really want to dig into it so big people are actually conscious and we get past all this, this, this stuff. Okay, okay. If 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 if, if, if um, you know, if if, if you really want to put that message out there that that every black woman, you know, because Tommy Sotomayor, Sotomayor said this, and basically women, black women went off on him. You know, Obsidian said this, black women went off on him. Because he said exactly the same thing that uh, uh, Concrete and Daniel have said. Exactly the same thing that they said. But the thing is, uh, we 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 want you to we want you to in the uh, subconsciously to know that if you shoot up our club, we're gonna have a baby. But we don't want you to consciously know that. We don't want to actually have it out there because because we know how it's gonna affect us in the dating market. They know that. I and, mean, well, that, the women and, on this panel. Have, mm-hmm. have all have different opinions. I, I, I personally, when I said that, I literally was talking about myself, and I do have these conversations. I mean, I literally, I have two children by a man that I was with for 14 years, so I'm not going out all willy nilly having sex with just multiple men, letting them shoot the club up. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have lengthy conversations with men that I'm in relationships with regarding mm-hmm. our birth control or lack of birth control methods and what the consequences could be. Mm-hmm. So but the thing is, when you had your babies, you in relation with the guy for 14 years, there was no problem about you raising the kids or taking care of the kids or nothing like that, was there? 
No, absolutely not. So in other words, so in other words, you you weren't angry at the baby's father because you guys constantly went into it. Uh, he had no problem doing his part or whatever he was supposed to do as, as a father. Oh yeah, and probably still to this day, right? Absolutely, yeah. He was he was just here visiting. Yeah, absolutely. So so basically, you have no issues with it, right? How come? How about all the women that do have issues with it? I think their situation maybe doesn't turn out like that. Maybe she died. So, did, did you, do do you think they had a different? They had reason to have a different outcome is because they had they did things differently than you did. Oh yeah, absolutely. I know so, I have personal friends who did it differently, didn't have those conversations, and a baby came out of it that they knew the guy didn't want the baby. They carried the pregnant, you know, carried the baby to term. And so and so what? Hate- so why the heck? Did you just go off on me for the past 20 minutes? You know, the script goes on. I was just saying that was my personal thing, though. No, 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 no. In in other words, in other words, it's about keeping it real, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because because I can I can I can I can bring dig up personal shit. Okay, I can give you examples. Uh, Let let me as far as a, 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 a black woman having a check right where I worked. This is when 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 uh when they first changed child support laws in the 90s, right? Cute chick, right? Uh, uh, she's you know, this cute chick that I work with, right? Mm-hmm. She had, and, and basically, it worked. We, we made a pretty good sum of money, you know, the the the, the guys that were around, right? Uh, they made a pretty good sum of money. She had four babies by four different guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she got she got four different che- four different five child support checks, pretty hefty ones too. Wow. So she made a lifestyle. Wow. Now, did she now did she abuse her children? No. She took very good, very, very good care of her children. She she did she keep a job? Yes. She sure did. She had a nice house in the, in a nice suburban neighborhood for her and her kids. She drove a nice car. They had a nice education, right? Mm-hmm. But she made a conscious decision to have four babies by four different guys so you could get four different checks. Mm-hmm. Yikes. So, so, so I can tell you personal anecdotes all day long. Yeah. I'm not talking about personal anecdotes. We, we can get into that, man. I can give you, I can give you stories. Well, I, you know what? I, I apologize <laughs> because when I made the comment, I was talking about myself, but I did allow you to go on a tangent and the panel to get worked up regarding it because I wasn't trying to interject. But I was speaking about, you know, just for me that when I, I was speaking about my own personal experience, not that any woman that you lay down with. Now, I do believe that sex is a procreative act and act and that mm-hmm. people should um, protect their own interests because mm-hmm. you can't like Danielle made the point, like otherwise you're entrusting your interest to the other person you're having sex with. And you don't know that they're going to protect your interests. Well, how come we don't teach our boys that coming up? We should. I'm and teaching mom. No, 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 no. How, no, how come we, no, we should not. We should, if that's the way women really feel, yeah. And they will feel adamant about this. How come we don't teach our boys this coming up? That that, that this is this is the real side of female nature. If you every woman that you have sex with potentially wants to have your kid. Because well, personally, for me, be, be, the more self-aware I become, the more honest I am with yeah. myself. And not not to say that I trap my baby daddy or I'm anything. I'm not saying that. Like yeah, we're that. not saying that. Yeah, right. But the more um, the more I pay attention to my own nature in the my 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 fuckery, my own fuckery. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, yo, this is my fuckery. Being that I know that this is my fuckery, this is what you need to be aware of. And Great point. the more honest I'm being with myself, the better I can raise my child because I can tell my child what's to come. Yeah. Um, you can't trust a lot of chicks. And, and, and it's sad to say that you can't trust a lot of chicks. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't want my child to be caught up in the same situations that I'm caught up in. And not to say that my situation with my son's father is bad. Oh, you have a see, that's that's where it starts to change. You know where it starts to change? Where I, I you, told you after you become a single mother. No, 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 no. When you have a boy. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you had a girl, you might not come out to say, but you have boys. You have a you have you have one boy? Yes. Okay. How about Just you? Just one child. Hey, uh, concrete, how uh, many do you have a boy? No, I have two daughters. Mm-hmm. 
but my my understanding like I came into this understanding actually from um you know valuing men's opinions and listening to conversations on mm-hmm. YouTube I'm like okay well we need to you know these are the conversations we need to have with men but I agree with Danielle I think that the reason that we don't have these conversations because it goes back to the point that was made earlier about us not wanting to be honest we're not ready to be honest because mm-hmm. it requires accountability mm-hmm. you know what I mean so that's why we're not telling young boys that Mm-hmm. Of course not, because it, because because he's he's not gonna believe in this. Uh, okay, he's not gonna he's not gonna believe in uh, uh, in the blue pill stuff that uh, that that uh, women are selling. He's not, because he's gonna be he gonna be red pilled at an early age, and you're gonna have that, and then he's gonna treat he's gonna treat women differently. He's mm-hmm. not gonna treat you as, as the valuable little snowflakes that he's taught to, uh, brought up to think <laughs> that you are. Mm-hmm. No, well, you get the well. All women ain't trying to have your baby. They ain't all trying to connive you. They ain't all trying to, okay. So basically, you gonna feed him blue pills until he gets caught up in that trap. Wow, wow. Until it happens to your son, then 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 then, then that woman's a bitch for actually trapping his ass. But if, if 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 your son dated a woman for four and a half years or or, or four uh. uh Four years and nine months, and he's getting ready to break up. And she come up with a baby. Tell me that you're gonna think that that it was a mistake. <laughs> Tell me. And it all comes full circle. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Then what are you gonna think about if she didn't get pregnant for four and four four years and nine months with your son, and you know they're having good good butt naked raw sex, but all of a sudden the last three months when he's getting ready to separate from her, she pops up with a baby. What are you gonna think? Well, he's, be honest. <laughs> that holding trap. Y'all gonna, make, y'all gonna make me talk to you guys like men. Y'all gonna make me try to talk to your guys like men. No, we, get, we get it. <laughs> I got two words. I got one word to do. I've turned into two words. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we get it. But in, in addition to that, I would be I would be cursing my son. I'm like, how stupid. How like exactly? Like, you you fell for that shit. Exactly. You do with your dumb ass. Yeah, that's what I would tell him. With your dumb ass, you fell for that shit. What did she oh tell you? What did she tell you? And you believed her. With your dumb ass, and you believed that shit. Oh, 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 yeah, you don't want to hear how I talk to my son. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, but you are know, t- talk to my son. I remember, okay, um, um, what was it? It was this Christmas, right? Uh, uh, everybody knows about my kid. He's a semi pro basketball player. So basically, he's a alpha male, quote unquote, right? And so he got women draped over him like, you know, like, like, like gnats, like mosquitoes in, in, in Louisiana summertime, right? And, uh, so, so he, him and his wife, they were separated, and uh, we have all the grandkids over for for Christmas and stuff like that. And and his wife, you know, his wife, she shows up, and you know, to see the kid open the presents and stuff like that. And uh, so I'm in the kitchen, and uh, he he's texting, right? And I'm looking at him, and he he's in the kitchen, high I text him. I said, "Hey, let's have a thought free Christmas this Christmas, all right?" <laughs> So he, put, oh he said, "He said, Dad, you're right." He he, he he actually put up the phone, put the phone in your pocket until ah. until for the couple hours we're here, and ah. your wife is here with you and your kid, right? Don't do this, man. You knew what he was up to. Yeah, of course I did. Mm-hmm. He, he, it wasn't even an argument. He said, "Yeah, Dad, you're right." He put the phone up, and he basically he was cool to, for the next two three hours we were there. You know, mm-hmm. I said, I said, uh, you know, you know, with me and your mother, we did it along. Guess what? When we came together, guess what? We sucked it up, right? Yeah. I didn't embarrass her in front of everybody. I didn't mm-hmm. do that kind of stuff, and I, you shouldn't either. You know, uh, uh, no, I can't. I, I can't make you be with your wife or be mm-hmm. the kind of husband that I think you should be. That's up to you because you're grown. You're a thirty year old man. You're grown. I can't tell you to do that. All right, but it, but the thing is, at least if you're gonna be here on Christmas with your with 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 the family and your wife and your and the kids and all that kind of stuff, because you only have one kid, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and uh, if you're gonna be here, man, uh, uh, show show a little respect. Don't do yeah. that. And so he did. He put the phone up. He didn't do it. You know, the rest of the time. I said, I said, I said, I said, dude, you're alpha man. They, they said them thoughts will wait. They'll be there tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll be too, <laughs> when like you that. call. They'll be there tomorrow. So that's how I talked to him. You know, he, and on he, that note, okay, is that time? All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, on that note, have yourself a thought 
Please. <laughs> Char Willie, you are not shit for that. You know that young lady. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Love compliments. Okay, guys, I want to thank you all. Um, Danielle and Concrete, thank you so much for your thank honesty, you for your thank comedy. You. Mm -hmm. I love oh, yeah, you guys. Yeah, that, that comedy, it's yeah, wonderful. That, and that bullshit. <laughs> and that too. It, it was lo it was lovely. <laughs> Thank it you. <laughs> and, and BGS, yes, have a good night. <laughs> or a good morning. High five, concrete. Hey, so so so, can I take my foot off your neck now? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to replay that, man. I, I'm gonna have to get that because they, they sure did say you. I said, do you talk that way to women? I said, you ask them. They told you I'm not easy on them. <laughs> they would tell. They'd be the first to tell you. No, he has our, he has his foot on our necks. Okay. You hold our feet to the fire, man. Let's keep it real. Yeah. yeah, yeah no he don't want to keep it real. Here. Yeah. No oh, I'm supposed to feel sorry for you dude, because you're a man. You're supposed to understand, man. Book, man. Dude, don't give me that bullshit, man. Be honest, okay? Yeah. yeah. And then, and then, low cast said we uh, uh, that uh, that 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 uh, women with good attitude, black women with good attitudes are, are, are common. I said, now I said, low cast. Now you done fucked up. <laughs> you don't. You know you don't fucked up now. I, said, I can't ride with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ride with that one. As far as the other stuff, you know, the thing is, is that you know, well, black men have to be honest. Angry men have to get honest about this too. We we are socialized to be with our women, and the reason that we stick to them is because uh, to be with other women is actually abnormal to us. It doesn't feel right. And we really do love our women, and that's the reason that we don't really stray. Because we yeah. really do love our women. Yeah. It, it's as hard yeah. as it is to believe that we do. As <laughs> ain't shit as we are. Yeah. And y'all giving it to yeah. us right now. That's what's like, whoo, hard we, to we, hear. Because, 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 because we want because we want shit to change. We we want to stay because yeah. it, I hear I hear, I heard that I actually did it. I'm, I'm finished with this chart. I'm not gonna hold these long. Um, okay. I was actually mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'll tell you who uh, off off air who it was, Char. But I was uh -huh. actually talking to uh, a bunch of brothers uh, offline, right? Mm -hmm. And these brothers are, are engineers, and they're uh, in, in they're engineers and they're programmers and stuff like. They were telling me about certain events that they go to, like the Black Engineering Conference, right? And they were mm -hmm. saying that uh, uh, when they're there, I say they have a mixture. The black women are on one side, uh, doing what black women do with the with the usual attitudes like okay if 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 you ain't uh bold enough to step to me you can stay on the other side right mm -hmm. but, but what is happening increasingly is other groups of women actually coming into the same mix right to the mixers and he said what the white women and the asian women are doing is actually engaging coming over and engaging and talking shop and passing out cards and putting their phone number on the back can we get a mm -hmm. cup of coffee can we get a drink can we can we hook? Can we uh, connect after the conference? That kind of stuff. And the black women would get mad. Mm. Yeah, mm. I wouldn't like mm. that. <laughs> oh well. You know, you know they, they they they're not playing the game fair. This is not how we play the game. That they we we pretend to ignore them. We pretend that we don't like them, and they convince us that we're supposed to like them and and, and pay attention to them. That's mm -hmm. the way play. Precisely. <laughs> yeah. And you yeah. hear white women coming in and doing the whole game up. <laughs> exactly. You can't be nice to our men. That's, that's you can't do that. You can't be, be nice to us. <laughs> you're gonna mess it up. Nice to them. You should be nice to them. You cooperative to them. Right. <laughs> right. Now, wait a minute. Aww. You can't do that. You're gonna ruin them. <laughs> we spent, we spent, 20, we spent 18 years getting to the point <laughs> to accept our bullshit, and now you come in blind head. Here you come, Here you come yeah. messing everything up. And now, now they talk about you what white women do that we don't see. You just messed everything up. <laughs> we don't go to your men messing your game up. <laughs> it's so funny, but anyway, I'm gonna end with closing thoughts, ladies. Oh. Thank you for the open conversation. Thank you so much. Um, and the last thing that I posted on 
uh, on the chat room is that we need to be honest with our children and open up to them and talk to them about the realness, what goes on, you know, as far as relationships and stuff. It's, it's time out for hiding, especially our young black men and our young black women. If they're 16, 15, 16, 18, whatever, it's time to talk to them. Please do. They have not have the open. It's okay to tell them, your baby. I was just trying to get back at your daddy. That's why you here. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get back at him. Oh, I was just trying oh, to get oh, back oh, at him. Oh, oh, I'm Yana, telling you the real conversations. Your life. We're gonna turn you into Yana fix your I'm life. I'm telling you the, <laughs> the real conversations. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, and that that has created an open forum for me and my kids, especially about sexual. Act activity and all of that i'm, I'm telling you that's what it, it's real yeah. they know yeah because because the, yeah. the guy that say that was well, well, how did i come about that because your daddy wasn't shit and your mama had shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this might be uh, something to talk about for next week it's interesting uh, yeah <laughs> open, yeah open, open oh, and honest conversations oh you gonna mess with on your notes you gonna mess with your notes church, regina right? <laughs> you know, you mess with the church, okay, you mess with you church. Know what? My, my church family, no, and, and majority of my church, it, well, the ones that the, that are close to me, they know I'm real. I'm this. The field is just too broad right now for us to just leave our babies out there mm -hmm. about sex, and that this woman is now is about to. She gonna let me come inside of her, and then she gonna tell me now that she's pregnant and she's gonna keep it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we need to have open conversations. Yeah. But this. This is a reason because I actually, you know, do uh, I've been doing a lot of this stuff offline, man, for like 25, 30 years. And and uh, and I work in the conscious, basically in the conscious community. Right? I don't work, but I basically there and people that are actually work in it. They know that women actually get upset. And and if I actually come through there, I've had my coattail pull so many times. I just got tired of it. So I said, let me do, let me change my name, change my avatar so that I'm not obvious and say what I feel. Because mm -hmm. I, I got tired of my coattail being pulled. Okay. Oh, well, why mm -hmm. do like, mm -hmm. like you don't talk to us? Because, uh, because you're not friendly to them. So why should they keep getting rejected and uh, you being mean to them and continue to actually uh, approach you? I wouldn't if I were them. So when y'all going to change? If you want them to change, why come you going to change? Right. Yeah, but but that doesn't compute. No, oh, you're no, no, you can't. Okay. You can't say that to the to the to the. I get even on here. I get that amongst the conscious do. Uh, you can't say that to our sisters. You can't be. <laughs> you can't, uh, I, I know, they hear it. I know they. I know they messed up, but you can't say it like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, 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 they, they they tend to um enable. Yeah, well, yeah. I said, well, if you don't say it, then how are you gonna fix it? You, well, you have to say that. I said, for th for fifty years you've been been uh, uh, saying it that way. When it when has it worked? Well, I can't. Well, it hasn't worked. So when are you gonna change? But I'm harsh. Okay. I said, right. I'm not. I'm not really harsh. Just real. And I hope people to, to, to the truth. That's all I'm doing. If you tell the and, yeah, you, Regina can tell you. You tell the truth. I got. I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Yeah, That's you guys right. are going on a permanent email list. So I'm going to be looking for that link every week because um, it's comedy team. I love it. They're hooked. You can tell they're hooked. Oh, yeah. Hooked. I told you. You guys will be back. I ain't worried about it. He said, okay. So let me, let me throw a take play note. Pow, he shot that one out. Damn it. Pow. Okay, there goes another one. All right. You don't miss out for your email. You don't miss one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me close All right. on out. All right. Um, All right. Thank you. Thank Again. you. Ladies. Good sports. It's, yeah, it's, thank it's you so much. Love. I didn't if I didn't love black women, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would tell guys how to take advantage of it. That's what oh, I would God. <laughs> We're glad <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. There's another there's a flip side. A pl don't a give them the game. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. yeah, it was I don't give them too much. I give them enough. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to create monsters out there. Okay, mm -mm. that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> and thank, thank you all you. in the chat room. Thanks. Appreciate you guys as well for joining in. Thank you for everyone that to the channel. If you can, you can't get this kind of conversation anyplace else. This is true. That's right. And thank you all that did contribute. 
if you want to continue, if you want this stuff to continue, basically, you're going to have to support it because this channel probably does not get enough support that it should get because you cannot, you cannot hear this. Kind, even Ron will tell you, you cannot hear this kind of conversation any place else on YouTube or any place else like that. This is women being raw and honest and vulnerable. And you can't, it's hard to actually, uh, fashion uh, a vehicle, fashion a platform where we can actually get this kind of conversation out. Almost impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so basically it's yep. the channel if you if you wanted to continue because it could easily break apart and stop. And a lot of people want it to break apart and stop. Yeah, so I really appreciate you guys that do contribute and um mm-hmm. as well as your conversation and your likes, all that's important as well. And we don't have anything scheduled for next week. We possibly have someone have to talk back with them, but um, as of now, it's open topic. And um, again, thank you all. And I need you guys to email me if um, because if you email me, I can give you more content. That's the bottom line. So if you email me at justaxshar at gmail.com, I'll get that content out to you. Mm-hmm. And let's see what's that is. And that is all. That is all. So you guys have a great weekend. You as well. Out to you. All right. And thanks again for joining us. All right. Enjoy you guys. Uh, I see you guys next week. All right. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Peace. Right. Peace. <laughs>